Hey guys, and welcome to an original if you tried this production. Today I'll be teaching you how to install a library into GameMaker. A library, I know I don't mean books or anything boring. Libraries have the power to add more actions, you know, drag and drop actions and features into GameMaker. This is for GameMaker Lite or Pro, so you can use it for both. It's compatible with GameMaker 7. I'm not sure if it's compatible with GameMaker 8. It hasn't been released yet, so... If it is, when it comes out, post a comment. If it's not, oh well. I'll tell you when it is. So what you can do to install the library, we'll be installing the library, the dude's library gold. So you can go to yoyogames.com. Ha, funny. Okay, create an account if you don't have one already. I think you need an account. I, I, I don't know. So, so if you can do the install library, go to the Make tab, the Make tab on YoYo Games. Go to Resources, right here, Make. Now, it's for resource search. Want to go to resource search and type in, just type in the library. And the first library that pops up is the Dude's Library Gold. And it has lots of features onto it already. A lot. Acceleration, reverse, basic control, jump controls, pop-ups, lots of stuff. Lots of cool stuff. It has lots of features. You can read through them if you want. I'll just show them all really quick. You can look at them. So it's in the lib folder. You can click download. Uh, you need WinZip or WinRAR to so I'm press save file and save it on the desktop. And when it finishes downloading, that's just that I guess. It'll come up like this. Right here, the dude's library gold. So I'm going to extract it onto the desktop. I'm going to extract it onto the desktop. So extract here. And all the files appear right here. All the tab these are going to be the different tabs. The diff each of the different tabs. So so control, colored comments, draw and sprite background. So to install it, what you have to do, go to the start tab my computer, or, or wherever my computer is located. Hooray, my computer's faster. I found the problem. So, go to local disk C. Or you want to go where GameMaker is stored, better yet. Normally, do a normal installation process. It's local disk C, GameMaker 7, here it is, and the lib folder. Now, I already have them installed. But what you can do, you can drag and drop them, or highlight and highlight them all. Just don't highlight the info, it's not really necessary. I did it anyway. But, no, just highlight the info, why don't you, just in case you ever need it. So just copy, or cut better yet, just in case you don't want it on your computer anymore. Cut, and paste them in here. And bam. You have all your libraries installed. So the next time you open up Game Maker, if you have Game Maker opened up already, you want you want to exit out and then reopen it. So when you open up Game Maker, uh, chop chop on delay on delay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, create any object. You see all your tabs. And you see you have extra tabs now. Main one, main two, control, I mean, what am I saying? Co colored control, colored control two, date, timer, well not timer, timer's an extra one. Draw sprite background, comments, control two, with the whole mess of all this stuff. Moving room, saving loaded mouse. If you want a more in-depth description of each of the features involved in this, in the library, you can watch my 
Game Maker. Watch my video in the description. As a dis as a detailed list of all the features. Me going through every single feature added in this library. So yeah, this has been an original. We tried this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.